when a black man does what he's supposed to do, reproduce in this world, he gets shamed by a black woman. But when an Arab or African man come from, or a Mexican man leaves his family at home and come to America to send money back, he isn't shamed. So here you have, let's get let's get to let's get the river um River Fox, right? You got a 58 year old woman who obviously doesn't feel comfortable with herself because every time you turn around she's going to get plastic surgery. Bottom of her mouth be talking while her cheeks are still stuck up here from all the Botox. Botox in the face, broken jaw. But anyway, you got a 58-year-old woman who has no kids because she was chasing Hollywood, I mean Hollywood, trying to get that next role, trying to get that next part. Vivica Fox, a 48-year-old woman who got rid of her husband because she got tired of paying the bills. Now, most see, here's the problem. Most black women... Don't make as much as Vivica Fox was making probably for a role in her movies. So her head got big. But at the same time, you know, 50 smashed it just for the hell of it. For a hot two weeks. Had her open. And um, dumped her. So she ends up with a husband that, that, that was part of Death Row that was a rapper. That wasn't really getting to his career like that. He couldn't get to the kind of bag. That she was getting to. So instead of using her bag to start a business. So they both can employ each other. Nope. She dumped him. Didn't have no kids. She will never know what it's like. To hear her kids. Because she's grandma now. Your grandma. Regardless. Of, no actually. You're, you're not grandma. You will never know what it's like to hear kids say. Grandma. Grandma. You will never get. You, you will never have a chance. To know what it's like. To hear a child say. M mommy. You'll never, you'll never, you would never have what, what a real home is, man, woman, and child. But a man, hold up, hold up, I'm going too fast. Why is that? Because maybe you decided, maybe, to take pills and po potions? I don't know. Because it's kind of weird for a black woman not to have black children. So because maybe, just maybe, allegedly, maybe, you decided to flush the toilet or pop a pill, you decide you you want to shame a man that made a decision. Those women made a decision to stand by him and give him a child. The best gift that a woman can give a man is a child. The only thing you gave a man, Rebecca Fox, is plastic surgery. Plastic surgery. Every time you start getting old, you have to stretch your skin so you can look younger. That's what you lived for. And no matter how messed up your lips look from the Botox and how stretched out your face look, you have the nerve to condemn a man who takes care of his children. Those women are honored to have a child by Nick Cannon. Those women have a good relationship where you don't see them all up in the court system taking him to court, shaming him over social media. How you jump out the window and shame a man that takes care of his family when you wasn't woman enough to even have a family? How do you jump out the window and shame a man that has 10 kids, God put him on this earth to reproduce? Those women had a choice not to have his baby. They chose to have it, and he chose to be a daddy, and he stood his ground. I refuse to let you plastic face get up here and shame our brother like that. Like, nah. So you can sit up there and have something to say about a man who does what he's supposed to do, create, stand by his children, but you ain't got nothing to say about Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union pushing this. A right, we ain't going to even get into that. Yeah, little up. You ain't, so you ain't going to say nothing about Lil Zaza and how they keep pushing this child to make a de decisions? Right, so you, you, you're you not going to do that? See, this is what this is like. I, I thank God that he gave me a platform 
so that I could actually speak out on stuff like this. Because you got the audacity and you wrong. You wrong. And it is what it is. He stood by his decision. Those women got pregnant. He didn't think about how much money he had to protect. He opened his he, he opened up his arms and his bank account and his love and his heart would open arms. You thought about your bank account, you thought about your career, and you chose not to have none. 